got lots of power, but I don't want to overdo it. 32. So the bike is 24 volts. The motor is actually a 12 volt motor. So I'm over volting the 12 volt motor with the 24 volt controller. Now I already know that works. The motor does get a little warm, but the test here is to see if I can actually run the bike with these lipos. So each one of these batteries is about 8.4 volts. Two of these batteries won't power that controller. Three of them, still not enough. So there's a few issues with my plan here. I have to put these in series. So the first thing I need to figure out, will it work putting these dissimilar amp hour batteries in series? About 33 volts when these are fully charged. Will one of them overheat? What'll happen? The next test is controllers only rated at 24 volts. So that's one other issue. So I'm gonna have to see if the controller can handle the voltage. So this controller is more designed for lead acid type batteries. Now with the LiPo's 33.6 volts, now that I can look inside of the controller, what I'm looking for is basically the voltage on the capacitor. I already know these capacitors should be good. Voltage right here on the back side of the capacitor and they're rated at 50 volts. Components on the board should be able to handle the voltage. It's the capacitors are the most important thing. You don't want to over tighten it, just snug it. This controller should take the higher voltage. I've already converted it to work with these LiPos. So these 5200s came with Dean's connectors. I've put these in series already. And then these two are individual. So I've connected to the controller. I've made up my little adapters here. I only have one set of 52s and one set of 65s. So I always do controlled tests. Never just jump onto a homemade bike and then just full throttle and, and ride until it till something happened here. I'm actually uh, monitoring things, checking temperatures and voltages. This is just a test. I'm going to get the controller hooked up. So let's go for a ride. Bike's ready to go. I am cruising along, has lots of power on the 24 volt, running on four 2S LiPos. I have to keep an eye on the temperature of these batteries to make sure they're all good. I don't feel anything heating up. The only thing that's heating up is the controller. Both batteries, I don't feel any temperature increase. It's got lots of power, but I don't want to overdo it. Level. No, we're not on level ground yet. Controller is getting really hot. Checking both batteries, especially the 5200 milliamp hour one. Hill climb. Okay, the wires are getting a little warm. Okay, this is going to. I'm backing off because it. So it easily hill climbs. It's about 28 degrees Celsius out. So that's why the controller's not cooling down. Max feet, max speed test. That's full throttle. Quick check of the voltage, 14. So I'm still good. Check the 52s now, 7.1 volts. So these batteries are pretty close. I'm almost up to the 10 kilometer range, so I'll go a little more. Okay, so I'm feeling some warmth from the lipos. So I'm getting down to the lowest voltage. I think I've maxed myself out here. Probably about 14 kilometers. So as you can see, the voltage indicator is actually indicating. Well, almost 14 kilometers. 52s and the 65s. The 52s are definitely um, warmer. And the 65s are, they're barely warm at all. That's a big difference. Check the voltage, 14 volts. Basically, they're about 7 volts each. So that's fine. Okay, so they're 6.27.
So they're within the lowest voltage. Don't want to drop it any lower than three volts per cell. 6.37. So in conclusion, connecting dissimilar batteries together did work. Of course, I'm not recommending this. This was just a test. I would pair similar milliamp hour batteries if I had them. The 5200s uh, discharged faster and they warmed up uh, a little more. They do have a higher discharge rate, 120C. So that's a good thing. Controller worked fine. Uh, it handled the few extra volts that was put into it. Because it has 50 volt capacitors, it doesn't mean it's going to work with 36 volts or 48 volts. Cutoff voltage on this one set for 24 volts. Of course, a fully charged 48 volt battery is going to be over 50 volts. It's not going to work. It's going to fry the, the controller.